kilo. Ultrasonic sensor is device that use sound waves with frequencies higher than the upper audible limit of human hearing, typically above 20 kHz, to measure distances to objects. They work on the principle of sending out a sound wave and then measuring the time it takes for the sound wave to bounce back after hitting an object. By calculating the time difference between sending and receiving the sound wave, the distance to the object can be determined using the speed of sound in air. In some of my previous videos, you can see several different builds of such a device with a special functionalities. All of them display the result on a PC monitor using an additional program written in the processing application. This time I will describe to you a simple way how to make an independent sonar where the results are displayed on a TFT color display in the form of radar image, which is why it is often mistakenly clear uh, called radar instead of sonar. I got the idea from a picture on the internet and then after a little research I found the project on GitHub. The original project was made on a 1.8 inch display which is really a very small surface for this purpose. So I reworked the code for a larger 3.2 inch TFT display where the image is much clearer. The device is really simple to make and consists of only a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller board, TFT display with a resolution of 250 on 320 pixels and ILI9341 driver chip, ultrasonic sensor HCSR SR04 small 9 gram servo and several resistors then serve to shift signal from the display for the display from 5 volt to 3.3 volt level the servo and ultra ultrasonic sensor are housed in a separate box which has which i used from a previous projects and connected to the main box with flat cables Now let's see how the device works in real conditions. At the beginning I separated the ultrasonic uh, sensor from the servo in order to calibrate the graphic presentation with the real distance of the object. Ten centimeters, twenty centimeters, thirty centimeters, forty centimeters, and fifty centimeters. As you can see, the real distance fully corresponds to the distance shown on the display. If the nearest obstacle is greater than 1 meter, yellow dots are drawn on the last arc indicating an out of range condition. Now we mount the sensor on the servo and place the obstacle, obstacles to detect to be detected. At power on the servo is tested first, then the radar like screen is drawn on the display and scanning begins. Obstacles are marked with red dots. This is this obstacle. Uh, in the lower left corner, the scanning angle is displayed and on the right the distance between the sensor and the obstacle in centimeters. Uh, the three green arcs with marked distances serves us to easier visibil visibility and idea of the real distance. If the nearest obstacle is greater than one meter, yellow dots are drawn on the last arc indicating the out of range condition. So this is first obstacle, this is the wall. Second obstacle, again wall, 
and first third obstacle. Scanning is performed first from 180 degrees uh, to zero and vice versa from zero to 180 degrees. For the sake of stability during the operation, the device is preferably powered by an external power source, but it also works via USB on the Arduino. All display color colors can be easily changed in the code according to the user's preference. These small distance red marks represent the wall. This is first obstacle, second obstacle, and, and third obstacle. These dots are wall. And finally, a short conclusion. Most such devices show the scan result on a PC monitor, which requires an additional application and code. This is a very simple, easy to make, visually effective, and self-contained device intended for both beginners and more advanced do-it-yourselves. I've used cases from previous projects, but it is desirable to have to have it all in one case with a slanted front display to visually simulate a real radar system.